Big B's Daily Vlogs. A little old school type of vlog today because we're headed out to Japantown. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Welcome to Japantown, repping Draymond Green. Warriors Game 2 will be on tonight at 5 NBA Championship. We're going to take a little stroll to Japantown and decided, let's see what they got over there. Let's show you guys what's in Japantown. Let's go. Last time we came out this way, it was Cherry Blossom Festival. Today, just a regular day. This is the beginning area of Japantown. Right over here is the AMC Theater, which used to be called the Kabuki. A lot of people still call it the Kabuki. AMC Theater, one of the first theaters in San Francisco that did reserve seating. You paid an extra $3 surcharge. And the most important thing, they don't have popcorn. Well, they do, but it's not your typical movie theater style popcorn. It's not good. You got the Paina Lounge right here. And today, they'll be showing the Warrior Game. Cool place to hang out if you want to just have a couple drinks in the neighborhood. And every now and then they have Hawaiian music in there as well. Neat Asian things. They got some pretty cool stuff in the store. I never went in there. We're gonna go inside. They got some lamps. These types of lamps right there are already sold out. Wonder why. This one too sold out. But look at these dividers. They have more stuff in here. And on this side, they have ramen. Really good ramen. They have these guys who are showing off the kimono. But my sense is pulling me this way. Ben Q Barbecue Grill. So what, kind of, what it is. Ben Q Barbecue Grill. And looking at it, look at the look at the price. $21.99 all you can eat dinner. $15.99 all you can eat lunch. And I just asked and it's and it's they're open till midnight. And they got a pretty good menu right there. Maybe, maybe we could find a replacement to Jen. Maybe. Maybe. This nice old Japanese uh, building, tower, house. We saw a bunch of these in Japan when we were out there. But this one, look at the details right on there. Roof, look at the top details as well. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool to have here in Japantown. This place right here we saw during Cherry Blossom and the line was long then and we just assumed it was because of the Cherry Blossom. The line now is pretty long too. Premier Matcha Cafe Maiko. 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 This is what they got. A matcha green tea. Looks like a smoothie. But it's a float. And this guy right here got a matcha green tea ice cream. Pretty cool, but I can't try it till after eight, so I'm just gonna watch them. This is just a little stand, but they got some good smelling stuff here. And meats, they got pork buns, pretty cool. They got the bookstore, one of the oldest bookstores in Japantown that's been, been around since pretty much the malls have been open, and it's two levels up here and downstairs where we were at. And Sophie's crepes right over there, they get really annoyed when you take videos or pictures of them. And there's a big sign in front of the window that says, no pictures. This is our go-to right there if you want some good uh, onomiyaki, the Japanese style pancakes. It's 
it's pretty good up in there. This is our go-to if we ever want some of that. That's our go-to if you want some good sushi. It's a sushi boat style, and prices are pretty good. Prices are de decent. The sushi is actually not that bad. So if you look right in there, it's a sushi boat style, which is cool. The famous bridge of Japantown. We are now crossing over Webster. We're crossing the bridge. We're right over the middle of Webster. This restaurant right here has been here forever. It's called On the Bridge. They got some pretty cool stuff. The cool thing about Japantown, you'll see all these little, all these little foods that they put on display. They're not real, but they're pretty cool. The famous Dragon Breath, right there. If you want Dragon Breath, that's where you go get them. And over there, you got the Anderson's Bakery. Koshi Masters and Scents is a pretty cool place if you want just little trinkets of Japan. Or Japanese style trinkets. You got little samurai heads. You got little, I'm assuming those are creamers or milk creamers and sugar containers. And if you want to make your own tea, there's your little bowl and your little whisk. Pretty cool area. Katachi is a store where if you want to buy swords, replica samurai swords, someone just dropped the garbage over there. Replica samurai swords, this is the place to go, right here. Pretty cool area. They got umbrellas, they got kendo sticks, they got a lot of cool stuff. They have butterfly knives here too. That's pretty cool. You might have to pick me up one. And a whole row of samurai swords that you can buy. Replicas, of course. None of these are real. $300 for this right here. And when I was a kid, I had one exactly like it. Exactly like it. And it's $300 now. Japanese style gaming area they have in here. Just like they do in Japan, but not as big as the one they have in Japan. And look, I found you, Pikachu. K-pop beauty in Japantown. Hmm. Now we're headed out of one of the malls, and we're in the middle of the Peace Plaza. Head up this direction, you have the big the big, I'm not sure if that's a Shinto or a shrine or a Japanese tower. We're right there. There's another side of the mall. We're gonna head up this way because we gotta go pick something up at Aloha Warehouse. They actually have a little something going on here today. A little small festival. Small festival, not a big one, just a small one. Up there, they got a guy performing on stage. Let's go listen to him. The woman is The woman is That's pretty cool. He's up on stage singing in front of everybody. I guess there's something called the Buchanan Mall Celebration is what's going on today. It's going to be today. It was yesterday and today. We didn't know it was here yesterday, so there's probably a lot more people yesterday. We're here today, but we're going to pick something up at a lower warehouse. Right there, right behind me. Little cool areas right here. Little cool spot. But that ramen line is long again. Came here during the uh, cherry blossom, that line was long. So I wonder if it's pretty good. I wonder if it is good. Let's check out the menu. Right there, the Buchanan Mall celebration. Then we missed the artist yesterday, but they got artists today. 
and I'm assuming that it's 1.14 right now, so we're probably listening to Charlie Chin right there. 12.45. There's so many sushi restaurants that you'll find here in Japantown. So many to choose from. We always look by specials, price, and just how good everything is. This right here, 1700 Post Street. Used to be Denny's. Used to be able to come here at night, eat. It was two floors. Come here in the morning, eat. But then it became some other restaurant, then another restaurant, and then now it's for lease. But it used to be Denny's. Right across the street, they got the famous Benihana right there. Everyone's favorite restaurant, Benihana. When you got Chef Juan, Chef Juan and Jose cooking some Japanese, authentic style Japanese food for you. New people. Little mall inside, so let's see what they got in here. Right when you walk in, you're have a little crumpet right up in here. Pretty cool. They have a little area where you can buy stuff for girls. Over here, they have something going on a private party in here, a little crumpet party up here, and then downstairs, they have a movie theater. Not a whole lot for me in here. This crumpet thing is pretty uh, pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to come back and try this area out right there. This whole area right here, it's now an apartment complex, condos, whatever. It used to be the old Japantown bowling area. And now it's this. It was one of the last remaining bowling alleys in San Francisco. Now, people live here. There's the outside of the bridge that we were up on earlier, right over Webster Street. You got the famous Nagia Market, and if you guys remember, during Cherry Blossom, I was standing right where that car was, right there. The food was all up in here. This was the food booth. There was tables everywhere. This is Japantown, our little, our little area in our neighborhood. That's gonna do it from Japantown. Cool little adventure, I guess you can say. Just walked around the areas, checked the areas out. Didn't know they were having a Buchanan Mall Fest, I guess it was, what it was called, but pretty cool area. Gonna, gonna have to come back and try that crumpet place. They have the barbecue, that's kind of like a gen, that Korean barbecue place. Gonna have to come back and try that as well. So, that's about it. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. I got a couple comments already on where the next adventure should be. And trust me, I'm already looking in the Marin, Mayor of the Block. I'm already looking in the Marin. Thanks for watching, guys. Sunday adventures are always fun. Vlog's ended, guys. Go in peace. Instead of a movie theater, that looks like a greenhouse. Must be nice and hot in there. I made this.